Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and in day two of Book of Read, we're going to be talking about all the spooky reads. So, if this is for you and you don't know what to read for Book, book of Read, then this video is for you. Let's get going. My first book is The Words Awaited by Kathleen Reedy. Shani and Ash Bay notice the dark and disturbing history of her hometown, Blue Cliff, Virginia, all too well. And why she left. Growing so growing up deep within the woods with the eccentric mother Constance, she was raised on the unusual customs and generational superstitions linked to the local legend of an evil entity that haunts the forest. Five years ago the bodies of three children were found in the woods and was a man, not a mythical beast, named Jasper Clinton, who was convicted of these heinous crimes. For, like, for five years, the town bleeded just a bit easier with the real-life monster behind bars. But when another child goes missing, Shani and Natalie are determined to discover the truth and uncover the town's dangerous secrets rooted in its terrifying past. My next book is Whispers from the Grave by Leslie Wu. When Jenna discovers the diary of a girl who was murdered over a hundred years ago, she is startled by how much they have in common. Rita looked like her acted like her and faced the trials of high school while experiencing the thrill of first love. As Jenna reads of Rita's tragic past, she fears for her own future because Rita's history is impeding itself in Jenna's life. My next book is These Fleeting Shadows by Kate Alice Marshall. Helen Vaughan doesn't know why she and her mother left her ancestral home in Hammerstone Hall called Harrow or why they haven't spoken to an extended family since. So when her grandfather dies, she is shocked to learn that he has left everything, the house, the grounds, and money, to her. The inheritance comes with one condition. She must stay on the grounds of Hamel for one full year, or she'll be left with nothing. There is more at stake than money, for as long as she can remember, Hamel has haunted Helen's dreams, and now those dreams have becoming a waking nightmare. Helen knows that if she is going to survive the year, she needs to uncover the secrets of Harrow. Why is the house built like a labyrinth? What is digging the holes that appears in the woods each night? And why does the house itself seem to be making her sick? With each twist to, twist to revelation, Helen questions what she knows about Harrow, her family, and even herself. She no longer wonders if she wants to leave. But if she can. The next book is Such Pretty Flowers by K.E.O. Sarah. Get it out of me. It was the last message Holly received from her brother Dane before he was found cleaved open in a lavish Savannah townhouse of his girlfriend, Mona. Police rule his death as suicide sparked by psychosis, but Holly can't shake the idea that something else must have happened. Something involving another message he said earlier that night about a game Mama wanted to play. Determined to discover the truth, Holly begins to stalk Mamora, a magnetic black eye florist with a penchant for carnivorous plants. But what begins for as an investigation quickly veers into a fixation that lures Holly into the depths of Mamora's world. Savannah High Society, Amy Black Roses, and a whisper of something more sinister. Soon Holly is feeling a dark attraction to the woman she shouldn't trust. As Holly falls deeper for Mona and her secrets, she is left with only one choice. Find out what happened to Dane or meet the same fate. My next book is Spirit Engin The Spirit Engineer by A.J. West. Belfast, 1914. Two years after the sinking of the Titanic, high society has become obsessed with spiritualism in the form of Sean's an attempt to contact the spirits of loved ones lost at sea. William is a man of science and a skeptic, but one night with everyone sat around the circle, something happens that places doubt in his heart and a seed of obsession in his mind. Could the spirits truly be communicating with him, or is this one of Kathleen's parlor tricks gone too far? My next book is The Sleep Tight Motel by Lisa Unger. You will never find her at the isolated motel, and its kindly manager is happy to ease her fears. But if Eve is the only guest, what does she keep hearing on the other side of the wall? Eve won't get a good night's rest as she, until she finds out. My next book is Sinister Melody by Boris Bajic. We hear the melody, you're as good as dead. 
When seeing his grandmother's dies, one of the only things she leaves him with her is her ornament but music box. Mia does mere days after playing in the box home and playing its music, seems life turns upside down. Nightmares plague him, footsteps echoes in his apartment at night. Voices sing from his living room, only to go mute the moment he enters. And the music box mysteriously disappears and appears in different places. No matter what Steve tries, he cannot get rid of the music box. The melody is constantly in his head, driving him to the brink of insanity with each passing day. Playing the music box was a trap, the same one his grandmother had fallen into years ago. Can Steve find a way to stop the malicious object from destroying his life before his sanity is completely drained? My next book is Phantom Reality, the number one book in The Phantom by Laura C. Redden. From the moment I drowned in the lake of secrets, I knew things would never be the same. All I had wanted for my 18th birthday was a kiss and a summer to be remembered before heading off for college. What I got was so much more. I wasn't just trapped in a cabin at the lake with a group of my rowdiest friends. I was trapped in another dimension, a dark one, where dreams manifest before your very eyes, fears are conjured in the cold mist, and then a living fight our sides. One thing I was certain of, the only way out is in. My next book is The Red House by Boris Watkins. Twenty years ago, Joseph Flam was murdering his parents and younger brother in cold blood, before spending the night at a friend's house as if nothing had happened, then crashing his car into a tree. Since that night, Joseph has been in a coma and the family farm has become known as The Red House the place where the walls were covered in blood. The only person to escape the massacre was Joseph's five-year-old sister, Eve. Now living her life with a new identity, she finally feels like she has put her horrific past behind her. Eve was the only one to witness her family's murder, and she has never known why Joseph snapped all those years ago. But when she is faced with the decision of keeping her unresponsive brother alive or letting him die, it might be her last chance to find out. My last book is The Creeper by A.M. Shine. Superstitions always survive if people believe in them. Renowned academic Dr. Sparling seeks help with his project on a remote Irish village. Historical researchers Ben and Chloe are thrilled to be chosen until they arrive. The village is isolated and forgotten. There is no record of its history and stories. There's no friendliness from the locals, only very looks and whispers. The villagers lock down the homes and send them, and nameless fears stalk the streets. Nobody will talk, nobody except one little girl. Her story strikes dead, dread into the hearts of the newcomers. Three times you see him, each night he comes closer. That night, Ben and Chloe see a sinister figure watching them. He is the creeper, he is the nameless fear in the night. Stories keep him alive, and nothing will keep him away. And my next book is Beware the Riptide by Devlin McClatchy. The Riptide was a very dangerous place to surf. Anyone who tried it was either an idiot or a fool. Josh Wentworth and his good friend Mommy could not believe it when the tandem of friend Billy dared to take the risk and was sadly swept up to sea. Josh blames himself for Billy's untimely demise, and so finds some way to ease his guilt. Coming across a bug on the oculet, Josh, Bobby, and the friend Chloe try to escape. To their astonishment, they think they succeed. Mysterious threats in the neighborhood lead him to believe Billy has returned to a living for a watery revenge, or has he? Chloe and Josh realize what they had possibly done to Billy was wrong. As one spirits are summoned, they are really hard to banish, and that it takes much more magical powers to return the spirit to your body. My next book is The Bitter Wine Oath by Hannah West. San Solano, Texas is a great town known for its charm, hospitality, and history of murder. Twice now, 12 men have been brutally killed, and no one knows who did it. A shabby witch, a copycat killer, or a man hating murderer. But everything becomes more urgent when people start getting mocked as new victims, including Larry Langford, the boy whose kids haunted Nat for a year. With Larry in danger, doing nothing will be harder than fighting back. Nat knows that no one is safe. Can she and the sisterhood stop the true evil of 
Queen Town, and my final book is The Christmas Bell by Ellie Detmiller. Some Christmas ornaments should be left in the attic. When Candace Miller's 26 heads home for the holidays to visit her mother and England grandmother, she expecting a piece of a doll for Christmas. She has no idea, though, that a single Christmas ornament is about to send her into a whirling chase of evil. As the secrets of Hans pass and Wally and her twin sister rise to the surface, the woman face sinister horrors from a dark force working for the end. And in my next one is The Fear, Natasha Preston. Oh, don't be afraid, be terrified. It's just a stupid meme that's going around a small fishing town in the dead of winter. People reposting and sharing the biggest fear. But when the classmates start turning out dead, dying in the way that they said scared them the most, Izzy know it's no joke. With each dead heading closer to home, Izzy sets out to try to stop the killer. Could her oldest sister's friend Tristan have something to do with the deaths? He's given her some strange right. Or what about his burning cousin Axel? But he's in her class at school. He's not a murderer. Is he? Is he soon on the path that will lead her right to the killer? And her own worst nightmare. And that concludes my spooky reads for Halloween. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you're gonna read for Halloween or if you have any ideas what to read for Halloween, leave them down below and otherwise I will see you tomorrow for my day 3. Bye!